Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen again. Amen. Say amen, amen, amen. Praise God. You're being obedient. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I will worship for you if you don't worship God. I will worship for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yo daré esa. Voy a adorar al Señor por los que, los que no adoren. Alabado sea su nombre. Alabado sea su nombre. Alabado sea su nombre. Bendito sea el nombre de Jehová. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, you made it here. Don't let the devil stop you from worshiping God. Amen. No deje que el enemigo te detenga de alabar a Dios. Estás aquí. Alaba a Dios. Alaba a Dios. Hallelujah. 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 I am believing with all my heart, estoy creyendo con todo mi corazón, that people are going to volunteer for the kingdom of God. Que la gente se van a hacer voluntario para el reino de Dios. God is seeking, Dios está buscando people who will say, here I am. Dios está buscando gente que digan, aquí estoy, úsame a mí. Tell God, here I am, use me. Dile Señor, aquí estoy, úsame a mí. It is so important that you understand what I'm going to speak about today. Because I believe we are in the last days. Yo creo que estamos en los últimos días. And I believe that God is going to move supernaturally. Yo sé que Dios se va a mover supernaturalmente. Are you hearing me? And that people will volunteer. La Biblia dice, the Bible says, in the last days, the people will volunteer to work. As he gets closer, mientras se acerca el Señor, la gente va a hacer, va a venir y hacer la voluntad de Dios. I believe that most of us, yo creo que la mayoría de nosotros have yet to reach, no han llegado todavía to the place where God wants them at, el lugar donde Dios lo quiere. Sometimes our depressions and our anxieties, a veces nuestras depresiones y ansiedades, are nothing more than the fact that we are not in the place that God wants us. Es que no estamos en el lugar que Dios nos quiere. Because when you have arrived to the place God wants you, cuando tú has llegado al lugar donde Dios quiere que tú estés, there is a joy in your life, hay un gozo en tu vida. There's a joy like a river, hay un gozo como un río de agua viva dentro de ti. Let me tell you, when you're there, you celebrate that you're there. Cuando tú estás ahí, tú celebras que has llegado ahí. There is nothing like working for the king. Oh, not too many people say amen. amen. No hay nada como trabajar para el rey de reyes y señor de señores. People, I had an amazing job. Yo tenía un trabajo increíble before I got here. Really? An amazing job, right? Six figures. People love the figures, right? Yo me prosperó de una manera increíble en el trabajo que yo estaba. He prospered in an amazing way. But when God told me it's over, cuando Dios me dijo hasta aquí llegaste, I said, Father, I will follow whatever you ask me to do. Sigo lo que tú quieres que yo haga, Señor. Mi trabajo me ha llamado otra vez, otra vez. My job is called again to go back. I said, no way. Yo he puesto la mano en el arado. I put my hand on the plow. And I'm not going back. Y no voy a volver para atrás. You can offer me all the money in the world. Me puede ofrecer todo el dinero en el mundo. But there is nothing like working for the king. No hay nada como trabajar para el rey de reyes. Y señores, señores. The biggest problem we had, el problema más grande que nosotros tenemos, is that we don't understand the calling. No entendemos el llamamiento. So, you're going to read with me this verse, Isaiah 6, 8, Isaiah 6, 8. And we are going to get into this, and I don't, I don't want you looking at your cell phone because we will take it. Mm -hmm. Si usted está en su celular, se lo vamos a quitar. 
Ajá, y lo vamos a vender porque necesitamos dinero. We will sell it because we need money. I don't care. I hope you got the 13. Right? Yo quiero que usted tenga iPhone 13. Yo tengo el 12. Léelo conmigo después. Oí la voz del Señor que decía, ¿a quién enviaré y quién irá por nosotros? Entonces respondí yo, eme aquí, envíame a mí. Wow. I also I heard, come on people, let's read it. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, here am I, send me. Father, your word is already blessed. In Jesus' name, you may be seated. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I want you worshiping God through the whole message. You want to stand, stand through the whole message. You want to shout, shout through the whole message. You want to run, run. Do whatever Holy Spirit tells you to do. Amen? Amen? I, I, I read this verse, leo te versículo, and I realize, me doy de cuenta, that there is something supernatural about being called. Hay algo supernatural de ser llamado por el Señor. Now, how many of you know that it's not easy to work for the Lord? ¿Cuántos saben que no es fácil trabajar para el Señor? It isn't. It's the one job you rarely get credit for. Es el trabajo que tú no recibes crédito. Why? Because your credit is not on earth. Tu crédito en la tierra. Your credit is in heaven. Va a estar en el cielo. When the Lord said, come my faithful servant. Ve mi, mi buen fiel siervo fiel. En lo poco fuiste fiel, en lo mucho te pondré. Right? On that day when he calls us and he says, come my servant. You have been, you have been faithful in the little things, but in great things I shall place you. But one of the things that, that I'm seeing, una de las cosas que estamos viendo, is that people after the COVID, después del COVID, la gente se, pus, se, se pusieron bien vago. Right? They got real lazy after the COVID. It's like, it's like you're still there. Todavía está ahí. You're still like going, oh, let's turn them on on the Facebook. Vamos a prender Facebook to hear the pastor preach para oír el pastor predicar. There's still people that have not come out of it. Hay gente que todavía están en su casa. They're afraid. Tienen miedo. No salen. And I will tell you something. What is detaining the church, lo que está deteniendo la iglesia, is fear, es miedo. The Bible says, and when I read this verse, and I'm going to be getting into something that I want you to understand, that it's God talking to you. It's not me talking to you. It's yo hablándote, no yo hablándote a ti. Because we have a need in this church. Tenemos una necesidad esta iglesia for leadership, para liderato. And I thank God for that group of people that are taking the leadership class. El grupo de gente que están tomando las clases de liderato. Thank you. But we need people. And we just don't need leaders. We need leaders who are trained to do what they're doing. Necesitamos liderato que están entrenados para hacer lo que Dios quiere que yo haga. But when I look at this, now I, I need you to see this whole scenery. Quiero que te vea esta escena entera. It's a powerful scenery, una escena poderosa. Because I need you to know that God is not going to come down to do the job. Dios no viene para hacer el trabajo. Dios no va a bajar el cielo para hacer el trabajo. How many know that God's not going to do your job? ¿Cuánto sabe que Dios no va a hacer tu trabajo? God called you to do it. Dios te llamó para ti para hacerlo. And God does not intervene in the business of the earth unless he uses one of us. Dios no interviene en el negocio de la tierra a menos que no use uno de nosotros. Are you hearing me? Paul says, Pablo dice, en mí falta, en mí está lo que falta de la cruz. Paul says, in me, I have in me what is missing of the cross. How many of you know that Jesus died on the cross? ¿Cuántos saben que Jesús murió en la cruz? But how many of you know, cuántos de ustedes saben, that if you don't preach the gospel, it doesn't matter that he died on the cross. Que si usted no predica el evangelio, no importa que murió en la cruz, because there's nobody that's going to hear it. No va a haber nadie que lo va a escuchar. God needs us. Dios necesita a nosotros to take the gospel, the good news. 
He, you are his lips, his feet, his hands. Ustedes son los labios de Dios, la mano de Dios, los pies de Dios. But watch this whole scenery because this is powerful, right? The Bible says in the, in the year that King Uzziah died, dice en el año que murió el rey Uzias, right? Dice, tuve yo una visión. Isaiah says, I had a vision and I saw God. Y vi a Dios. Say with me, I saw God. He was seated on a seat. Estaba sentado. In a throne, en un trono, in a high place, en el alto, alto, alto y sublime. Dice que sus faldas cubrían el templo. It says that, that his clothing would cover the entire temple. There was no place to step at. No había lugar para pararse because if you stepped, you would step on his clothing. Te paraba la ropa de él. I hear this, right? Because I always wonder, why would God put this text in this verse? Porque Dios pone este texto en ese verso. Because the Bible says, la Biblia dice, that above him there were seraphims. Dice que encima de él había serafines. And they would fly. They had six wings. Tenían seis ala. And when two they would fly. Con dos volaban. With two they would cover their face. Con dos se cubrían la cara. With two they would cover Jehovah. Could you imagine that? The Bible says. La Biblia dice. That they would shout to each other. Oh my God. It says. It says I'm going to read it to you. Above it stood seraphims. Each one had six wings. With two, they covered their face. And with two, they covered their feet. And two, they flew. And one cried to another saying, Holy, holy is God of hosts. This is powerful. Dice, por encima de él había serafinas. Cada uno tenía seis alas. Con dos cubrían los rostros. Con dos cubrían los pies. Y con dos volaban. Y uno al otro. Daba voces diciendo, Santo, Santo, Santo Jehová. Dios de los ejércitos. Now I need to see this. Because one repeated to the other. Uno le repetía al otro. Santo. And the other one would go. Santo. And the other one would go. Santo. Can you imagine that scenery? Imagínate esa escena. Here is Jehovah sitting on his throne. Aquí está Jehová sentado en su trono. And the angels are just worshiping. Los ángeles están adorando. See, it gets to me because they didn't know what salvation was. No sabían lo que era la salvación. They didn't know to, what it was to be a sinner and be changed by the blood of the Lamb. Ellos no sabían lo que era ser un pecador y ser limpiado por la sangre de Cristo. We have a hard time worshiping God. Nosotros tenemos momentos difíciles de adorar al Señor. Y tanto que tenemos de, de ser agradecidos de Dios. We should be so grateful to God that, that you should not stop. No debe de parar. You should be saying, God bless you, God. Te bendigo, Jehová. Tú eres santo. You are holy. You are a mighty God. Tú eres un Dios poderoso. You are an extraordinary God. Tú eres un Dios extraordinario. I find myself in my car sometimes that I can't resist it. No lo puedo resistir. Every time some dummy goes in front of me, almost runs me off the road. Now, I know that doesn't happen to none of you. Cada vez que alguien que no sabe guiar me quiere tirar de la carretera. ¿Sabe? Alguno de ustedes quiere salir de la boca. Mira, estúpido, sangre, no me Some of you will get out of your mouth, you stupid idiot. Didn't you see I'm driving? No. God's trying to tell you, I just protected you. Te protegí ahora mismo. Could you just worship my name? Puede tú adorar mi nombre? Could you say, God, you are awesome. Tú eres increíble. You are my Lord. Tú eres mi salvador. You just saved me from this accident. Do you notice how we forget to worship God? In all this, Isaiah is looking at all this. Isaiah está mirando todo esto. He said that the glory of God was so big. La gloria de Dios era tan grande. That the temple started to shake. El templo empezó a temblar. Un terremoto vino a ese lugar. An earthquake came. The doors of the house of the Lord. La puerta de la casa del Señor. Empezaron a temblar. They started to shake. 
They were coming out of the hinges. Estaban saliéndose de su lugar. Why? ¿Por qué? Because in the middle of worship, en el medio de la adoración, oh, the earth will shake. La tierra tiembla. When you worship, things happen. Cosas pasan cuando tú adoras al Señor. Can somebody say yeah? yeah? I need you to understand that one thing the devil wants to stop is the worship to the Lord. Si algo el enemigo quiere pararles la adoración a Jehová. If one thing the enemy wants you to do Thursday is to forget to give thanks. Si algo el enemigo quiere jueves es que tú se te olvide darle gracias a Dios. I hope you're not looking at the food. I hope you're looking at the one that provided the food. Yo quiero que usted no esté mirando la comida, esté mirando el que proveyó la comida. I mean, we are forgetting that God has called us to be more just than seat warmers. Dios nos ha llamado a ser más que simplemente calentar asientos en la iglesia. Your job, tu trabajo, is to glorify the name of God. There are things in your life that need to be shaken out. Hay cosas en tu vida que necesitan ser, mira hermano, que venga un terremoto y las cambie. As I, as I gave the, con, the conference, mientras daba la conferencia, el viernes, this um, doctor came up to me, un doctor vino ante mí y me dice, I came here with my husband, vine con mi esposo, and she said, he said, we were about to get divorced. We said this is the last time we're coming. Esta la última vez. It's going to be over. Se va a acabar todo esto. She said, but I heard the word of God. You didn't hear me. Oh, you would have been worshiping God right now. Ella dijo, oí la voz de Dios. Oh my God, you don't hear me. It was me that was talking. Era yo el que estaba hablando. But she didn't hear me. She heard the voice of God. Ella oyó la voz de Dios. And in the middle of that conference, en medio de esa conferencia, they started to cry. Empezaron a llorar. They looked at each other, se miraron. And they said, what are we doing? Why? ¿Por qué? Because may I tell you something? Only my wife can tell you how much I fought not to do that conference. Yo peleé para no hacer esa conferencia. I just like, like I'm, I'm sick of people, God. They don't listen. Ellos no escuchan, Señor. How many know what I'm talking about? Tú le hablas y los consejas, y le hablas y los consejas, y ellos siguen el mismo camino. They keep in the same way. Y yo le dije a mi esposa, yo no quiero dar esta conferencia. I don't want to give this guy. I fought all the way till Thursday. El jueves todavía yo estaba peleando con el Señor. El God said, I called you, boy. El Señor me dijo, yo te llamé. You have no idea whose life will be changed. Tú no tienes una idea de qué vida va a ser cambiada. And I said, God, I've been doing this too long. How many know you get tired after a while, right? Uno se cansa. And my wife said, boy, you better get up and do what God told you to do. Amen. I said, girl, get out of my face. Ella me dijo, mira, muchacho, levántate y haz lo que Dios te ha dicho que haga y hazlo ahora. I walked into that place with an attitude. <laughs> yeah, people. And I realized that the glory of God was following me. Me di de cuenta que la gloria de Dios me estaba siguiendo. Because even when you have an attitude, God follows you. Aunque te tenga una actitud, Dios te sigue. And the people that are here, they went. La gente, hermano, que están aquí, que fueron. A lot of the couples went. When I got in there, I, I couldn't believe the house was packed. I said, why? <laughs> ¿Por qué? I don't feel like being here. God says, because I brought them. Because I got a word. 
There's a word from the throne of God. Hay una palabra del trono de Dios. Viene palabra del trono de Dios. There's a word from the throne of God. And boy, you better speak it just the way I ask you to do it. Now, I know Sadiga was there. She was going, oh. Por lo que Dios quiere hacer en nuestra vida, el enemigo quiere tumbarla. How many know that what God wants to do in your life, the enemy wants to knock it down? Listen, the Bible says that when he heard that noise, el oyó ese ruido. The Bible says Isaiah became fearful. Isaiah se turbó, le dio temor. I would be scared too to see angels, to see the glory of God like that. Ver la gloria de Dios así. And in the middle of all this glory, en medio de toda esta gloria, you hear the counsel of God to oye el consejo de Dios. One of them gets up and says, who will go for us? ¿Quién va a ir para nosotros? And I thought about this. Yo pensé esto. And I said, why do you need anybody to go? You can go yourself. ¿Para qué tú necesitas ir? Alguien que vaya, tú puedes ir tú mismo. I mean, the temple is shaking. Angels are singing. What a glory. Que gloria. And yet God says, I want to do something. Yes, Quiero hacer algo. I want to bring a revival. Quiero traer un avivamiento. I want my glory to fall. Quiero que mi gloria caiga. I want my people to be changed. Quiero que mi gente sea cambiada. But I can't go do it. Yo no puedo hacerlo. I need somebody. Necesito a alguien who will say, Here I am. Aquí estoy. Mándame a mí, Señor. Send me God. Could you say, Praise God? In the middle of such glory. Do you know how many of you have heard the voice of God? ¿Sabe cuánto ustedes han oído la voz de Dios? Come on, people, stop acting like you don't hear him. He talks to you every day. Todos los días te habla. Yo no te oigo, Señor. Él dice, tú me oyes. No esperes que te mande un terremoto para que me oigas bien. Don't be sitting around waiting for an earthquake because you hear God's voice. Every morning you get up, you hear his voice. Toda la mañana que tú te levantas, tú oyes la voz de Dios. And he's telling you, talk to me. Habla conmigo. I want to talk to you. Now imagine being sent because people like to go to places that are already set up. Do you notice that? In our assemblies of God, in nuestra asamblea de Dios, there's probably 37 churches without pastors. Hay más de 37 iglesias sin pastores. Yet, we have over 3,000 pastors that are ordained. But nobody wants to go. Nadie quiere ir. Why? Porque, because the church is so small. Porque la iglesia está muy pequeña. Because, because there's not a lot of people. Porque hay mucha gente. Because what are we going to go there for? Para que vamos a ir. Si lo que hay dos o tres gatos, así le llaman, ¿verdad? Oh, everybody wants to go when things are good. <laughs> Guarantee you the day I retire, there will be a line waiting to get in. Oh, yeah. El día que yo me retire, garantizado que va a haber mucha gente aplicando para la pastora. Seriously. And I think, did God call you or did he not call you? ¿Te llamó Dios o no te llamó Dios? When I stepped into this church in that little place, cuando yo entré a esta iglesia, en el lugar donde fui a pastorear la primera vez esta iglesia, the first place I went to pastor this church, there was nothing. La música era una cassette. The music was a cassette y se paraba. Y había que meterle un puño a eso y seguía clan, clan, clan. Ya hay poder, poder. I went into that place, yo entré a ese lugar y dije, this is the wrong church. <laughs> Esta no es la iglesia para mí. 
mi esposa y yo nos miramos, my wife and I looked at each other and said, babe, could we maybe did not hear God's voice? Posiblemente no oímos la voz de Dios. How many of you know that you do that when things don't look like you want it to happen, right? ¿Cuánto lo han hecho, right? Yo creo que no fue la voz de Dios, yo creo que me lo imaginé. Por, mira, por más de dos meses, for over two months, we were going and never gotten there. We would get in, preach, predicaban, there was just a few people, había una cuanta persona en la iglesia, no había, there wasn't the people that we have, no hay, no hay la gente que tenía, no. We were using a building of somebody else. Era edificio de otra persona. Sometimes they would give us some mic. Sometimes they didn't give us some mic. A veces no daban micrófono. A veces no. Sometimes they would sit there and laugh at us. And I'm going like, I just came from a big church. Yo salí de una iglesia grande. I was from 3rd and Queens. I had been pastoring the church in 3rd and Queens. Estaba pastorando la iglesia en la 3 y la 4. La asamblea de Dios en Val. I'm going like, what am I doing? ¿Qué yo estoy haciendo? And God said, I called you. Will you bless me in the little things? ¿Me podrás bendecir en las cosas pequeñas? Todo el mundo quiere las cosas grandes. Everybody wants big things, but nobody wants to pay the price. Nadie quiere pagar el precio. Your pastor knows I wanted to give... No guitar, no nothing, no había nada. Yo no estoy acostumbrado a eso, yo quiero música. I want real worship. Pero esos hermanitos ahí, cuando empezaban a adorar al Señor, when they started to worship God, man, the house would fall. It was powerful, fue poderoso. But one day I tried to slip out. Un día traté de irme, yo le dije a mi esposa, este es el último día que nosotros venimos aquí, pero no se lo diga a nadie. I tell my wife, this is the last day we're coming here, but don't tell nobody, okay? How many know what I'm talking about? How many, talk, how many know about the tell nobody? ¿Cuántos saben de no se lo diga a nadie? No se lo diga a nadie, right? And so she looked at me, she said, okay, baby, we'll go back to what we know. I said, yes. And so we finished the service, terminamos el servicio, and as we're walking out, mientras estábamos andando, y llegamos al lugar donde las puertas se iban a salir, entra el pastor de la iglesia. The pastor of the other church, de la otra iglesia americana, entra. Y usted quiere saber de un hombre que oraba, you want to talk about a man that prayed? Ese hombre oraba, that man could pray. That man prayed for hours. Ora, ora, he ora, he ayunaba, he ayunaba, ayunaba. He was so close to God, it was unbelievable. Era tan cerca del Señor, increíble. Yo le tenía miedo, terror. It was a guy, era una persona que te miraba. He would look at you, you would go like, oh, Mufasa. You would think this guy is going to tell me. He walks in. And me, pastora, yo estaba así, aguantaba las manos para irnos. Y paró él, y stopped, y fue, oh, rabo, shakatara, momo, so. Empezó a hablar en lengua. He started talking in tongues, and, and he said, servant, stop. Where are you going? Para donde tú vas? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that was no good. La pastora me miró eso. He says, so why are you despising the small things? ¿Por qué tú estás poniendo en bajo las cosas pequeñas? Me dijo. Tú no sabes que yo te llamé. You don't know that I called you. ¿Para dónde tú te crees que tú vas? Where do you think you are going? I said, hey, people, people, people. <laughs> Anytime you're going to do something, never say it. <laughs> Because God's listening. <laughs> and God's a tattletale. <laughs> God will tell somebody else. <laughs> right? Yo lo dije con ella en secreto. Dije, no se lo diga a nadie. Don't tell nobody. El problema es que lo sabe todo lo yo. And the one that knows everything heard what I said. We're leaving. We're not going to be here another day. But when God has called you, cuando Dios te llama, and you say, here I am. He says, oh, you just said, here I am. You are in my business from now on. 
Man, that guy scared me. He tells me, go ahead, go. Me dice, vete, vete. Go and see what God's going to do para que tú veas lo que Dios va a hacer. I said, babe. She said, I know. Le dije, mi amor. Y ahí dice, sí, yo sé, ya. Habló Dios, hay que callarse todo el mundo aquí. And we stayed. But we wouldn't have stayed that day. Si no nos hubieran quedado aquel día, we wouldn't be here today. No estuviéramos aquí hoy. We wouldn't have built this house. No hubieran edificado esta casa. Because it's when you hear the voice of God, cuando tú oyes la voz de Dios, that tells you, I call you, yo te llamo. Are you willing to respond? Está dispuesto a responder. See, Isaiah was in the middle of a turmoil. Has God ever called you to something that makes no sense? Dios nunca te ha llamado a algo que no tiene, no tiene sentido. Because after he calls him, después que lo llama, lo unge, the Bible says that he felt like a sinner, se sintió como un pecador. And the angel took coal from the altar. And Ángel toma, toma un calvón de, del altar, puts it on his lips, lo pone en sus labios. It says, from now on, you have been cleansed. De ahora para adelante, tú has sido limpiado. And then God tells him, and now I'm going to tell you your mission. Te voy a decir la misión. How many know the mission is a problem, right? La misión es el problema. Because I would have waited for him to tell me the mission first before I said, here I am. Yo hubiera esperado que me diga la misión antes de yo decir, eme aquí. I'm not going to tell you here I am until I know what's happening. No way. And then he tells them, I'm going to send you to a people who are not going to listen to you. Te voy a mandar a una gente que no te van a escuchar, le dice Jehová. Espérate, tú me quieres mandar a la gente que no van a escuchar lo que yo voy a decir. Yeah, I'm sending you to people who are not going to listen. In fact, I'm going to close their ears myself. Le voy a cerrar, eso le dice Jehová, le dice, te voy a cerrar los oídos, no te van a oír. Ellos son rebeldes, they're a bunch of rebels. And they're going to stay rebel. I, I would have walked out. I said, no, I'm not doing this. He said, I'm sending you to a job you don't like, to something you don't want. Te estoy mandando un trabajo que tú no quieres ni quieres saber de ese trabajo. Pero te voy a mandar entre gente que se van a reír de ti. I'm going to send you to people who will laugh at you. They're going to mock you. They're going to make fun. They will never listen to you. Nunca te van a escuchar a ti. God will never send you where you want people. I told the leadership class, the la clase de liderato, antes de que yo te use la unción que tú tienes, te va a usar en lo que tú no quieres hacer. Did you hear me? I told the leadership class, before God uses you in your anointing, he will first use you in what you don't want to do. So when you find yourself cleaning the toilets, know that the only reason you're cleaning is so that God can use you for the anointing he's taking you to. Si te encuentras limpiando los toilets de la iglesia, sépate tú que Dios te está usando lo que no te gusta para llevarte a la unción que tú tienes. Can somebody say yeah? It don't matter when I come into this house. The first thing I do is check the bathroom. If the bathrooms are dirty, I don't care if I have my tie and my suit on. I said, baby, let's, give it a, let's get it done. Let's get it done. Let's clean it up. Somebody forgot. Why? Because I've already been there. Some of you want to jump up in the top of the mountain without climbing slowly up there. Dios te está diciendo, si tú pasaste por un lado de un papel en la iglesia, if you look down and you see the paper, mira un papel ahí, sigiste andando. Oh, no. God's saying, oh, 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 if you don't get down to pick it up, I can't use you for the next mission I have. No te puedo usar a la próxima misión que yo tengo para ti. Now, I love what happened to Isaiah. Do you know during the entire ministry of Isaiah, todo el ministerio de Isaiah, nobody listened to him. 
Nadie lo escuchó. No one. They were all rebels. But it's when you do what God asks you to do. Es cuando tú haces lo que Dios te pide que haga. When, listen, you can write that. It's not based on what your abilities are, but how available you are. No tiene que ver con las habilidades que tú tienes, pero cómo tú estás dispuesto para hacer lo que Dios quiere que tú haga. The most amazing preachers I met didn't even have elementary school. No, no theology, no Bible college. They just had a calling. Los grandes predicadores de antes no tenían tanta cosa. Lo que tenían era el llamado de Dios. Some of them didn't even have shoes. Didn't have nothing. I'm blessed. You people bless me. I got a great salary. Tengo un salario bueno. You take good care of me. Me cuida. If I call you, I'm hungry. I get 10 people trying to feed me. I'm blessed. Estoy bendecido. If I get stuck somewhere, somebody right away comes. My tire blew up and Gregorio was there. I said, Greg, no te, se explotó la goma y no tenía para cambiarla. Mano Gregorio, tú puedes, es para allá voy, siervo. I didn't even have to take it out. He was taking it out himself. You understand how blessed you can be? But how about those people, la gente que vinieron antes de nosotros que no tenía nada. The people that came before that had nothing. See, you're blessed. You have a beautiful house. You got everything. But your parents had to suffer and work hard to be able to get you to where you're at now. And now you're working to get your children to where they're at, at now. I get by God, bless you. Somebody pay the price of the calling of the Lord, the llamado de Dios. Our parents paid the price. Our pastors didn't have much. No tenían mucho nuestros pastores, but they had a calling. Tenían un llamado. Le dijeron al Señor, "Eme aquí, envíame a mí. Here I am, God, send me." You're so blessed that when you get out of here, all of you are going to have cakes, and you're going to go out there and buy cakes and cupcakes and cookies and. My church, we were lucky we get those crackers. And there was nothing. Isaiah spent all his life and nobody gave his life to the Lord. Toda su vida predicando y nadie se convirtió. They still were rebels. By the time he died, they were still rebels. Se muere y todavía eran rebeldes. But guess what happened to Isaiah? We call Isaiah, llamamos Isaiah, the fifth gospel, el quinto evangelio. Why? Because he Oh my God. It's the revelation you get when you're obedient to God. Es la revelación que tú recibes cuando tú eres obediente al Señor. You don't need to follow me as long as I know God is with me. Tú no necesitas seguirme mientras yo sé que Dios está conmigo. God said because you are obedient, porque eres obediente, I will let you see the birth of my child. Te voy a dejar ver el nacimiento de mi hijo. You know that's crazy. How many of you know that's crazy? Because he starts out, hoy os nacido. Today has been born. It wasn't like, did it really happen? No, it was another 500 years before it happened. But because he was obedient to God, porque era obediente al Señor, God said, I'm going to reveal you. Te voy a revelar what I'm about to do, lo que voy a hacer. Viene uno, one is coming, que es más grande que todo, that is greater than all. And he said, he is wonderful, counselor, mighty God, prince of peace. Hey. Come on, he didn't even see him, but he started speaking them. He is God with us. Él es Dios con nosotros, consejero, majestoso, en Belén de Judea nacerá uno. God said, maybe these people won't see it, but you will see it in the spirit. And then one day, Isaiah's praying, Isaiah está orando, he says, to God, he's, he, God takes him to the cross. Lo lleva a la cruz, and he says, Herido fue por nuestro pecado. For he was wounded. For a transgression. Wait a moment. It still has not happened. 
But God who starts from the end to the beginning. Pero el Dios que empieza del final al principio de Dios. Come on Isaiah. I'm taking you to the cross. Te voy a llevar a la... And he takes him and he sees Jesus. And he sees the wounds in his back. Ve la herida en su espalda. And he says by my stripes they were healed. Por mi jaca fueron curados. He, de, he didn't say they will be healed. He said they already are healed. Ya están sano. Why? ¿Por qué? Because he said, here I am. I'm in a part of my life where sometimes I'm saying, God, maybe I've done everything I'm supposed to do. God said, boy, don't get me upset at you, boy. A veces yo le digo, yo le digo, Señor, yo, yo creo que yo hice todo lo que iba a hacer. Me dice, mira, mira, muchacho, cállate la boca ya, mejor que te calles. Que tú no hay, ni has empezado todavía. He says, you make yourself available to me. Tú te pones dispuesto en mi mano. Do you realize what God can do with you? If you say, here I am, God, use me. Imagínate lo que Dios puede hacer contigo. Si tú dices, heme aquí, úsame a mí. But I think that when you make yourself available to God, he makes himself available to you. <laughs> Cuando tú eres dispuesto a decirle, Señor, heme aquí, el Señor te dice, heme aquí, yo también. Me necesita, yo estoy aquí porque yo sé cuando te necesito a ti, tú estás ahí. Oh, my God. Pastor, this is the problem. Our problem is, el problema, let me tell you, I kept on talking, I started out telling you the majority of people who are depressed with anxiety is because they're not in the purpose of God. No están en el propósito de Dios. We got people in church that can't, don't even smile. Hay gente de la iglesia que ni se sonríe. They don't do nothing, no hacen nada. Why? Because they're out of God's purpose. Están fuera del propósito de Dios. But when you're in God's purpose, you always got a Colgate smile. Tú siempre tienes una, una sonrisa. Y aleluya. Gloria a Dios. Te alaba el Señor porque tú sabes que estás en el propósito de Dios. You're in God's purpose. When he says, seek me and you shall find me, knock and it shall be open. Ask and you shall receive. Él dice, toca y se te abrirá. Llámame, contestaré, búscame, me encontrará. Why does he do that? He's saying, because you're in my business. You can call me anytime you want. And I will answer. Tú me puedes llamar y yo voy a contestar cuando tú me llames. How available are you? Oh, pastor, but you should know me. I, I, don't, I don't have abilities. Yo no tengo habilidades. Oh, I want to smack you. <laughs> La gente que me dice que no tiene habilidades, me dan un galletazo. Me aguanto, I go like, hallelujah. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean you don't have abilities? You ever heard of Helen Keller? Anybody ever heard of Helen Keller? I can go either Helen Keller. Blind, deaf, ciega, no vía. Some of you hear and see, but you're still blind and deaf. Uh, you can say ouch. She grew up and a sickness hit her, una enfermedad de Dios, y se puso ciega y no hija. And you know what they did to kids that were blind? ¿Sabe lo que hacían con los muchachos que eran ciegos? They would send them to a home for blind kids. Los mandaban a una casa donde los ciegos iban. Y todo el mundo que estaba ahí era ciego. Everybody that was there was blind. You were deaf, they would send you to a place where deaf children were at. But she woke up one day and she says, there's got to be more to my life. Tiene que haber algo más para mi vida. And God will bring, see, when you make a decision to say, here I am, cuando tú dices, aquí estoy, Dios te va a mandar gente. Oh. God's going to send you people who are going to guide you through where God's taking you. Te van a guiar para donde Dios te va a llevar. And God sends this lady called Sullivan to her. Le mandó una muchacha llamada Sullivan a ella. And told her, le dijo, do you want to do it? Quiere hacerlo? Then you can do it. How many of the Bible says there is nothing impossible? 
Porque no hay nada imposible para aquel que cree. El que cree. And she said, I can do it. She graduates from the university deaf and blind. Se gradúa de la universidad con una maestría with a master's degree. Writes her first book, escribe su primer libro. No oye, no ve y escribe un libro. She can't hear, she can't see, but she writes a book. Oh, come on, people. Come on, come on, come on. Open up your eyes, open up your eyes. Open your ears up. Abre los ojos, abre los oídos. You are capable. Tú eres capable to do great things para hacer cosas grandes. Is there somebody that can say yeah? yeah. Then she writes 12 more books. Escribe 12 libros más. Ciega y no oye. This is 127 countries. Oh my God. Visita 127 países. When she arrived in Japan, cuando llegó a Japón, the lines were from the airport to the hotel. People greeting her, la gente, because when you are successful, cuando tú tienes éxito, no matter what you're going through, no importa por lo que tú estés pasando, God will make room for you. Dios hace lugar para ti. Can somebody say yeah? yeah. Listen, I, I, I didn't come here to entertain you. I come to get you out of the box you're in. Estoy para sacarte de la caja en la cual te encuentras. Estás metido en una caja. Estás metido en una caja. Sal de ahí en el nombre de Jesús. Get out of it in the name of Jesus. And say, I can do this. I can do this. Yo lo puedo hacer. Yo lo puedo hacer. Yo, you, you, you know my wife makes the best fighting in the world. How many can say amen to that? Mi esposa hace la mejor farina en el mundo. Right. Yo no sé cómo ella, que ella la hecha. I don't know what she, yo no sé qué fufu le hecha, pero sabe bueno. Right. But, but the other day she, she was laying in bed. I said, baby, don't worry, I'm going to make you some farina. Te voy a hacer una farina como la que tú haces. How many of you know you can't get into somebody else's anointing? <laughs> ¿Cuánto te sabe que usted no se puede meter la unción de otra persona? La unción de esa persona no es la tuya. Yo hice la farina. Cuando empecé el sabor era igual a ella. Cuando la terminé no había que se la comiera. When I started the farina, it tastes just like hers, but when I got done. I had to get a saw to cut it because it was like thick. Eso era tan espesa, la saqué así, no subía. But I still gave it to her like that. I said, baby, esta es la farina que te hice. She looks at it like mía. She, <laughs> I think the spoon bent when you put it in there. Se viró la... la <laughs> Pero ella la cogió, se la puso en la boca. This is delicious, baby. Esto es rico, mi amor. ¿Qué, qué rico te quedó esto? Embustera. You're a liar. I couldn't even eat it. I took it to her, but I couldn't eat it. I got it to her anointing. So many of us want to imitate somebody else. Tanto de nosotros queremos imitar a otra persona. The problem is that we're unique on our own. Nosotros somos únicos. Nosotros no tenemos que imitar a nadie. El llamado mío es el llamado mío. El llamado tuyo es tuyo. My calling is my calling. Your calling is your calling. I'm crazy. You'll never be as crazy as I am. But that's the way God called me. Así me llamó el Señor. And any time you try to get in somebody else's anointing, you will mess up. Be you. Be you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Amate a ti mismo. Sé tú mismo lo que Dios te ha llamado a hacer. 
Walk around proud of what God has called you to do. Isaiah preached and preached and preached, and nothing happened. But he sure changed the world with his book. The Bible says in Joshua 23.10, Joshua 23.10, watch. Un hombre de vosotros perseguirá a mí, porque Jehová vuestro Dios es quien pelea por vosotros. Os dijo. One man of you shall chase what? God. How many? God. How many? God. Why can you chase a thousand? For the Lord your God is he who fights for you as he promised you. Christina, when you say, I believe, God says, I believe with you. Cuando tú dices, yo creo, el Señor dice, yo creo contigo. When you say, I can do it, the Lord says, I can do it with you. Why? Because God is not going to come from heaven to do it when he's got you and me to do it. Dios no viene del cielo para hacerlo cuando lo tiene a nosotros para hacerlo. I love this amazing story. And I know some of you already are going to eat turkey today. You probably put it in the oven already. You're all going to be all turkeyed out. Matthews 14, 15, 16. Watch this. Cuando anochecía, se acercaron a él sus discípulos diciendo, El lugar es desierto y la hora ya avanzada despide a la multitud para que vayan por las aldeas y compren algo de comer. ¿Y qué le dije a Jesús? Jesús le dijo, no tiene necesidad de irse. Dale vosotros. <laughs> Let's read it in English because I think you didn't get it because I would have been saying hallelujah, praise God. So let's see if somebody gets it now. Let's read it in English, right? When it was evening, his disciples came to him saying, this is a deserted place and the hour is already late. Send the multitudes away that they may go to the village and buy themselves food. But Jesus said to them, they do not need to go. You give them something to eat. Oh, I'm going to hate you now. Can somebody praise God? It's not over until God says it's over. No se ha acabado hasta que Dios no diga se acabó. I love that couple that came to me in the end. I was telling you, la pareja que vino al final, he was looking at her. He's looking. They said it was over. When they walked in, they said it's over. Cuando entraron, dijeron, se acabó. But by the time they left, they were going like, baby, you were in trouble tonight. Al final de la noche, pastor, estaba, esta noche, este culto va a estar bueno. Why? Because it's not over until God says it's over. Porque no se ha acabado hasta que Dios no diga que se acabó. Mientras Dios esté dentro de la barca, no se va a hundir. As long as God is in the ship, it will not go under. He will not go. Can somebody get up and say, yeah, I believe you, God. No se acabó. Él es el que tiene la última palabra. He has the last word. Oh, no. I know right now things look difficult for you. You're saying, I'm going to pay my bills. I'm going to do God said, don't worry about it. I got you. I got you. I love it. He, he says in the evening, it was already night. Night, people got to go home. He's saying, don't go home. The place was deserted. No había nada ahí. God said, that's where I give you your blessings. When things look deserted, when it looks like there's dryness, that's when I come in. El Señor dice, cuando las cosas se ven malas, es que yo entro a bendecirte. He said, don't worry that it's deserted. And don't worry that there's a lot of people. I'm going to keep on building people. I don't care what you say. 
Pastor, but how am I going to pay it? I don't know. I don't know. How God will send somebody to pay it. I'm going to do what God called me to do. Voy a hacer lo que Dios me llamó a hacer. ¿Sabe una cosa? Yo veo más de lo que usted ve. I see more than you see. Some sister came to one of our crusades. We were under the Delaware Bridge. Pastor and I were preaching under the Delaware Bridge in a tent. Estábamos predicando debajo una carpa en el Delaware Bridge. And she came up to us and, and she said to me, do you know me? Me conoce. And, and we said, no. And she was pregnant. She had a little girl. She said, I was a girl. Yo fui la muchacha that you were preaching at a Mennonite church and I came up I had been 13 years and I couldn't get pregnant 13 años que no podía quedar en cinta and your wife put her hand in my womb tu esposa puso su mano en mi vientre and she said by this time next year you shall have a child well that's the child right there ese es el bebé ahí mimito that's the child the Lord gave me I said oh my God is somebody here is somebody listening I get to escuchando because even when the doctor says your womb is closed God says I open it Yo lo abro. You could be Sarah And God says I don't care if you're 90 If I said I'm going to bless you at 90 I'll bless you at 90 Te bendigo a los 90 años No importa que da sea See the problem I was telling the church The other day the problem is Is that we've forgotten having faith We want everything so fast God says I'm not Burger King And I'm not Dunkin Donut I don't just, you don't go up to the window and get something just because you ordered it. Yo no soy Burger King, no soy Don Kendora. Tú no puedes ir a la ventana y ordenar lo que tú quieres y creerte que yo te lo voy a dar porque ese es tu deseo. I mean, no, no, hay un precio que pagar. There's a price to pay. And nobody wants to pay that price. Nadie quiere pagar ese precio. And listening to God is not easy. Escuchar a Dios no es fácil. Less of all taking his orders. He says to the disciples, feed them. Dale de comer. How many were there? 5,000 men. 505 mil hombres. Not counting the women and the children. If you add two kids to, oh, to, to, the, to them and the wives. Think about it. It's another 15,000. 20,000 people to feed. Disciples are going, shut up. Who am I going to feed them? How are we going to feed them? He said, you feed them. No, send them to buy themselves. No, no, you're going to feed them. You're not going to get away with this. I'm telling you people, you will not get away with this. God's calling you to feed. Dios no está llamando a nosotros que le demos de comer a la gente. Hay gente perdida. There's people right now going, every time you go into that stupid Walmart, you know how many people are unsaved? ¿Cuánta gente no están salva en esa Walmart? You mean to tell me you can't take some tracks with you? Tú no puedes llevar un... Tú no te puedes llevar unos tratados contigo a la Walmart y pasar por alguien. Decirle, mira, Cristo te ama y dale un tratado. Give. God's telling you, you feed them. You feed them. Tú dale de comer. Don't send them nowhere else. You have the power. Tú tienes el poder para transformar el mundo. To change the world. Don't worry about the kids because they don't bother me. He said, you go feed them. We ain't got no food, God, Jesus. Yes, there is. Somebody in here has food. Oh. Somebody in here has food. Alguien aquí tiene, no, no hay comida. No, alguien tiene comida aquí. Y esta noche, este culto va a estar bueno. Esta noche aquí todo el mundo va a comer. Everybody's going to eat. Oh, that's impossible. There's no food. But there was this mom who had packed a lunch for her kid. Había una mamá que había empacado un almuerzo para sus hijos. She put two fish, five breads, and not five loaves of bread, people. You guys are always in la, in, in la hacienda thinking the bread is like this. There were little breads, pan pequeño, five of them so that he could eat. And James says to him, yeah, there's a kid with five breads and two fishes. 
He said, there's a dinner. If you are faithful to God in the little things, si tú eres fiel al Señor a las cosas pequeñas, en cosas grandes Jehová te pondrá. God will put you in great things. Two, two, two fish, three, five pieces of bread. Daryl, never, never, ever think God doesn't take little things. He'll take tiny things, make them huge things. He said, if you had faith like a mustard seed, you will tell that mountain, move, and it will move. When you pack up your kids' lunch every day, Remember that that lunch you're packing could be somebody else's blessing. Ah, oh, you didn't know that, right? The Bible says that God did miracles with what he had. God uses what you have to fill a need which you never could have filled. Dios usa lo que tú tienes para llenar una necesidad que tú mismo nunca podías llenar. A sister came by here the other day. I don't know where she came from. No sé de dónde vino. She parked and she said, Pastor, I came by because I saw the parking fill. Vi el parking lot estaba lleno. The problem is there was only three cars in the parking lot. So how did you see the parking lot fill? ¿Cómo tuviste el estacionamiento lleno si lo que había eran tres cajos en el estacionamiento? She parks and she is on Holy Ghost. Oh, oh, the parking lot's packed. It's filled. And for a minute, I'm going like, we need to call the psychiatric ward on this lady. <laughs> right? Tenemos que llamar los psiquiatras a esta mujer porque está loca. Dice que está llena el estacionamiento y lo que hay tres carros. She said, God's telling me. Oh, my God. He's telling me, expand. Expand to the back. There's not enough room. No, there's no room. No hay lugar. You got to expand. Tiene que expanderte. I said, expand where? What do you see? ¿Qué es lo que tú ves? She says, I see what the Lord is giving me. Estoy viendo lo que Dios me está dando. I'm telling you, church, it's not what you see with your eyes. It's what you see with your faith. Es lo que tú ves con tu fe, no lo que ves con tus ojos. That's why it drives me crazy when people tell me, oh, I think my kids are lost. No, no, your kids are not lost. Your faith is lost. Tus hijos no están perdidos. Es la fe que tiene que está perdida. If you will trust in the Lord, it doesn't matter where they're at. He said, believe in the Lord and you and your household shall be saved. But pastor, my, my daughter's a lesbian. I don't care. He's gay. I don't care. God changes gay people and God changes lesbians too. We got them here where God changed them. They're married. Everything is beautiful. Lo tenemos aquí que estaban, eran homosexuales. Dios los cambió, se casaron. Y hoy viven una vida bien. Why? Because God will change anybody. What do you have in your hands? As I finish, I ask you, what do you have in your hand? ¿Qué tú tienes en tus manos? ¿A qué te llamó Dios? You know how great singers we have sitting right now? We got amazing singers right now, sitting here right now, who, who refuse to get up and do worship because they're too scared. Dios te dio una voz increíble, tú canta precioso. Y no te mueves a cantar. Ay, yo no, pastor, yo no. Pero Dios te llamó y porque tú no, hace tiempo que debieras estar cantando acá arriba. Hace tiempo que le hubiera dicho, no, no, úsame a mí, pastor. Ponme a mí en el púlpito. Yo quiero cantar, yo quiero adorar. I want to praise God. Why? What do you have? Five loaves of bread and three fishes. Do you know how many lives you can transform with your voice? Tú sabes cuántas vidas tú puedes transformar con esa voz preciosa que tú tienes. Te levanta a cantarle a Jehová. You know how many great dancers we have here? Oh, in the world, you guys were like, chippity chappity. 
You're great dancers. You should be dancing in the church. Ya alguien por ahí está diciendo, van a bailar en la iglesia. Eso del diablo. No. No, you should. Cuando estamos adorando aquí, mira, agájale la mano a tu esposa ahí, mimita. Y dice, ok, baby. En el espíritu, en el espíritu. Pero gozándote. Dice, he cambiado tu lamento en baile. I have changed your lament into what? Dancing. Man, you guys used to dance in the world. You guys forgot that Jesus loves when you dance before him. I wish somebody would get up and just say, I'm getting down today, pastor. I'm going to worship. If somebody try to stop you, I'm going to go, hey, I rebuke you in the name. Leave him alone. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm going to get my wife one of these and say, let's go, let's do it, let's do it. It's the only way we're going to break this diabolic butt seat thing. It's getting to get up and worship God and dance unto the Lord. How, how many of you just feel like getting out of your skin sometimes don't worship? You're like, oh. I can see it in some of you, like, going like, oh. I want to do it. I want to do it. God said, do it. God has called you. Who will say, here I am? ¿Quién dice, aquí estoy, Señor? Estoy para hacer algo grande en tu viña, algo grande en tu trabajo. For all the people that are retiring, I need every one of retirees. <laughs> yeah. There ain't no room for retirement in this church. No, no. Aquí no va a haber retiro. If I don't retire, you ain't retiring. No. I'll be 65 in July. I'm not retiring and you're not going to retire. Right? And if you're a state worker that you can retire at 50. <laughs> I got work for you. How many know we got work in the house of God? We got work to do. Amen. All right? This is the year when we're going to make things happen. Amen. Oh, I didn't hear a big amen. amen. Do you guys believe it? Do you believe it? Do you believe it? This is the year I'm going to travel a little bit less. Look at my wife's here. <laughs> God's calling me out to preach in other churches. I'm going to be doing it. I'm going back to a lot of my roots. Boy, para mis raíces otra vez de evangelista. I'm going to go back and preach. I'm going to invite you too. I'm going to invite you to come with me. Yeah. I, I thought I can't do it. God said, oh, yeah, you can. Boy, you still, you still look good. <laughs> my wife bought this big mirror. She made it worse for me. Mi esposa compró un espejo bien grande, varón, y lo puso en la sala. Es así de grande. Every time I go by, I go like, oh. <laughs> yeah. If I don't like me, I can't like you. <laughs> If I don't feel I'm blessed, I can't bless you. If I don't bring myself joy, I can't bring you any joy. Si yo no tengo gozo, no le puedo traer gozo. Si no me quiero yo mismo, no puedo quererlo a usted. Mire, hermano, llénese con la gloria de Dios. Bendiga su nombre. Dile, Señor, heme aquí. Say, God, here I am. Use me. Could you stand with me? Uh huh. I want you to get prepared, everybody who wants to go to Antigua, to be with Billy. Let me know. Todos los hermanos que quieran ir a Antigua al campo misionero con el hermano Billy. Hay lugar. He's waiting for us. Don't worry. I'll make sure you're in a nice little resort. I know some people are going like Antigua I don't want to be there how many of you know we're ready to do something different 
there's a trip to Guatemala. And we're inviting the people who want to go to Guatemala. It's with the Assemblies of God. There's going to be five trips. Va a haber cinco viajes a diferentes partes parte del mundo, dif different places of the world. If you're an electrician, a plumber, a carpenter, si electricista, plomero, we're going to be building churches in Chile, Argentina. No oigo mucha aleluya. La gente dice, no, yo para allá no voy. Necesitamos carpinteros, necesitamos plomeros, necesitamos electricistas que vayan a edificar estas iglesias. What you do for the kingdom of God will always come back. Double, triple what it is. This is a year coming up. You're going to have to say, don't tell me you're 70 and I'm 80 and I can't do it. I don't care if you're 90, you can do it. Amen. We got Haiti to go to. República Dominicana, the Dominican Republic. Donde haya necesidad, ahí vamos a ir. We're going to go there. We're going to send. We're going to find ways to bring up the funds to send you. If you ain't got the money, we'll send your kids. Those kids need to get out of your house. They're too spoiled. They got everything in their hand. They need to know how poor people live and how hard it is to make it. Yeah, we'll send them to missions. Lo vamos a mandar a la misión. El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua. Britain. Viste todo el mundo Britain. Mejor voy a Nicaragua. Britain. Millville. Violent. You think violent don't need Jesus, man? Violent needs Jesus badly. If you're ready to go, we're ready to send you. We need more missionaries to come out of this house. Just like Billy said, here I am, you're going to say, here I am, and we'll send you. And we'll make sure you're taken care of. Okay? How many can say, here I am? Okay. We need a female who can help us in security. So if you're one of those females that can say, I can work security, you have to have a little attitude, though. That means all of you can probably serve. <laughs> so, please see Hermano Carlos, and he will set you up with your uniform and everything, and you can start helping us. We need ushers. We need people for the sound booth. Technology. There's new technology that's going to come up. You're going to see new technology up here. Va a haber nueva tecnología al frente. Necesitamos ayuda de ustedes que sepan usar todos esos equipos y digan, Pastor, aquí estoy, úsame a mí. If you want to work with technology, see yourself with Rafael back there. Rafael, raise your hand. And, and, and Pastor Tim here, please say, Here I am. Diga, aquí estoy, and, and please help us. Ayúdanos. We need people who can clean bathrooms too, so. Necesitamos gente que pueda lavar, limpiar los baños, sweep the floors, vacuum the church, work, work in the nursery, work. Father, I thank you. Here I am, Father. Aquí estoy, Señor. If you can say, here I am to God, I want you to raise your hand wherever you're at. You don't have to, but if you can say, here I am, God. I'm ready to go. Estoy preparado para ir. Just raise your hand. Just raise your hand. Levanta tus manos si tú estás preparada para hacer el trabajo que Dios te ha llamado a hacer. And if you're not, then just say, God, help me to be ready. If you work in God's kingdom, God will work in your kingdom. Everything you touch shall prosper. Todo lo que toque prosperará. But you first have to work in his kingdom. Tiene que trabajar en su reino. God, I bring you our people today. Wow, you spoke to my life, God. Tu hablaste a mi vida, Señor. 
Ayúdame a serte fiel. Help me to be faithful to you. God, thank you for the leadership already in this church. Gracias por el liderato en esta iglesia. They make me look so good. Me hacen ver bien, Señor. Thank you for them. Gracias por ello. And Lord God, thank you for the new leaders that are coming. Gracias por el nuevo liderato que viene. And I thank you, God, for new people who are going to join the worship team. Gente que van a cantar, Señor. Gente que van a decir, aquí estoy, pastor. Yo quiero cantar. Quiero alabar a Dios. Gente que van a decir, Señor, estoy dispuesto a trabajar como diácono. No, I'm willing to work as a deacon, as a trustee. Señor, la gente están aquí. The people are here. You promised me you would not leave me alone. Tú no me dejarías solo, Señor. And, and you never have. Tú nunca lo has hecho, Señor. So I'm waiting for a big revival to fall. Un avivamiento grande que caiga, Señor. And you're going to take the, the, the three, look at the two fish and the five loaves. And we are going to multiply it, God. And we're going to bless thousands. Vamos a bendecir miles, Señor. Gracias por el grupo que vino a comida, the people who came in to give food, God, thank you. Thank you for the people who donated, la gente que donaron. Thank you, God, for the people that are going to missions, la gente que van a ir a misiones in different parts of the world, en diferentes partes del mundo, Señor. I thank you because they're here, están aquí ya, and you will supply all their needs, suplirá todas sus necesidades, Señor, according to your riches in heaven. In Jesus' name I pray, que Jehová te bendiga, Jehová te guarde, que Jehová haga resplandecer su rostro sobre ti. Que Jehová tenga de ti misericordia. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord guide you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. May the Lord bless everything you touch. In Jesus' name we pray. And God's people say. El pueblo de Dios dice. People, please, please help us by buying stuff. Ayúdanos comprando. Hay cosas de un peso, de cinco pesos para ayudarle al edificio nuevo que vamos a edificar. So please help us right there in the corner, in the coffee house. Go to the coffee house Holy and get it. Spirit, Amen. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit.